Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Race Hub Victory Lane. Shannon Spake, Larry McReynolds, Regan Smith, and Jamie McMurray. 446 laps led by one driver. That would be Brad Keselowski. Daryl Waltrip said during the race broadcast that it's the most dominant performance he's seen from a car start to finish. You agree? Uh, absolutely, especially at a short track where you have comers and goers, where you have pit stop strategy. But it's like they could not do anything wrong with that two car on the racetrack or on pit road. All right, here's the debate, right? We have two teams who have won races this year. That would be Joe Gibbs Racing with two drivers and Penske with two drivers. Uh, these, these two teams are the class of the field right now. Do we have a rivalry in the making between these two teams? Well, I don't know if it's a rivalry in the making. I think the rivalry is already there. These teams want to beat each other every week. And, and let's not forget, you got Stuart Haas racing out there. But when I look at it, I, I'm going to say one thing. It was Martinsville. Okay, let's just hold the horses back. Are you saying just pump the brakes? Are you saying I was going to say pump the brakes. I was saving that for Larry to use in a minute. You could take but it. <laughs> we need to wait for just a minute and get to the next track at Texas. I think that's going to show us again that the Gibbs cars are very strong. We haven't even talked about Martin Truex Jr. yet and the fact that on the mile and a half, he's been just as quick as what he was last year, just not with the same luck. They're going to figure out working at Gibbs compared to what it was like working at uh, Furniture Row. The, him and Cole Pern will figure that out and all of a sudden they're going to be stronger as well. Yep, those guys have been good, but and Pinsky Racing has been so strong and, and they have Brad, Joey, and Ryan. Even though Ryan hasn't won yet, he's got three straight, straight top fives. I mean, Brad today, that was unbelievable what he was able to put together. And I just think how methodical Brad is every single weekend. It seems like he's always thinking a little differently than everybody else. And I know we've given Kyle Bush a lot of credit for what he has done up to this point with the 200 and 5,000 wins that he has, but um, Brad, I don't know. He's just kind of uh, he's kind of a secret weapon. Yeah, I, I do think that it's Joe Gibbs and Team Penske right now. Believe it or not, we are roughly 20% of the way through the 2019 season. I'm going to add to this dominance. Go back to the last four races of last year. Those two organizations won three of those four, so that means they've won nine of our last ten races. I would say that's pretty dominant, picking up from 18 to 19 with all the rule changes and everything else. And that's how it works, right? I mean, when you look year to year, whoever ends strong always starts the following season strong, but we're six races in, like Larry said, and I feel like I feel like the season's developed and those are the two teams. We've we're been talk to about. everything now but a road yeah, course. Every type track. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As we, and as we talk about these, I want I got to point one more thing out. We've got Denny Hamlin. He won the Daytona 500. He will be somebody we're talking about in terms of JGR. And I'm on the JGR bandwagon. I yeah. still think they're the team to beat right now. We will be talking about him at some point because that team's going to get over that Daytona 500 hangover. They will get it back together. I have a feeling that after Texas, we're going to be talking about another organization, Stuart Haas Racing, because I cannot see them allowing us to continue to have this conversation. Make sure you join us weekday, 6 p.m., right here on FS1 for Race Hub. Tuesday, we'll have the winner, Brad Keselowski, here in studio, plus Radioactive. You don't want to miss it.